In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Site Search feature so you can actually identify what pages on your website are being indexed. And then also so you can use this same feature for research, and I'll show you that at the end of this video. So there's a couple ways you can use this for your benefit. The first one that I like to use it for is to identify how my content is, is actually showing up to the search engines. Now I know there's webmaster tools and things like that that'll tell you that, but this is a very simple way to identify what pages of mine are actually showing up and in what order they're showing up and that's going to help me identify what pages I need to work on how my site looks it also will help me identify like am I using the same title tags and I'll show you what I'm talking about so if I were to click here and do the site search site search and then you put in your website so you do site site colon and then you put in uh, the website or the URL you're going for. So uh, most of the time you can just do the, the domain just like this. Um, in those cases where you actually have a subdomain, so you might have dot whatever, you might want to put www.yourdomain uh, because you're going to get different results. I like to do it uh, this way because it's going to return more of a true um, result from it. So you just put in the domain like that. So I'm doing the site search here, and then this is going to tell me that there's 682 pages uh, that are listed for my website. So that's good, actually, because that's going to tell me that there's 682 uh, websites that are actually showing up here. So, uh, But what I can quickly do here is I can scroll here and see what kind of keywords I'm targeting, where I might be weak. And so that's one thing I like to do, because I like to scroll through here and think, okay, so nutritious rep recipes, cook healthy fitness inspired meals. So the, actually the keywords are pretty good on my site here. And so that, that actually shows me that as I go through here. So I can also see what pages are showing up. Uh, you'll notice my home page. It's got the title tag at the beginning of home. Well, that's not going to get me targeted traffic. So I should go back to that page home and I should fix that to actually be a keyword uh, that would be more keyword focused like muscle building website or build more muscle, muscle building insights, those kind of things. So that's how you can use this tool to your advantage. So it's a really cool um, search parameter. So it's site and then you can do your website.com or .net and see uh, what pages of your website are being indexed. You see how Google's seeing your websites. You can see that the websites they're going to bring back at the top generally um, is going to be the website that they deem is the most uh, beneficial. So I notice here that even my um, you know, my homepage kind of goes more towards the bottom. So, you know, that tells me that maybe I need to work on that page a little bit. And also it tells me that the supplement page, maybe I should spend some time, you know, on that page. And I can also pull up here and uh, kind of see when the page was last cached as well. And we'll cover that in another video a little more in depth. But that's a really good way to see how quickly your content's being indexed, how quickly it's being used, um, you know, digested by the search engines. Now, this one happened to have been uh, just yesterday that it was crawled. So that's pretty powerful. So that tells me that this page is constantly updated. And it's a page that I should probably go back, spend some time on, and improve it a little bit. So, um, but yeah, this is a really cool tool, Site Search. And then the other aspect of it, we'll go back here, and we could use it for research too. So you could go to your favorite uh, website, select, so say, uh, Mashable. You know, they have a lot of good, or BuzzFeed, let's say BuzzFeed, um, buzzfeed.com. And then let's search something related to your niche. Let's just say golf, for example. And so it's going to find everything related to golf that actually appeared on BuzzFeed, which as you know, has a lot of good content, good social sharing tools. So you could use this to your advantage for finding good content to post on your Facebook pages, on your Twitter, on your LinkedIn profiles to kind of help build up your portfolio. But this is 25 legit reasons to vote um, to keep your golf club, um, which golf nightmare best describes your love life. These are all really interesting um, things that people that are in the golf niche might find entertaining. So you could do the same thing, buzzfeed.com, uh, back pain. I don't know if that would show up in the examples, but you could find any websites. Notice that 21 struggles people with back pain know to be true. So you could find this, use it for research when you're coming up with ideas for your next video or content. Use the site search to your example. It's simply S-I-T-E colon your domain or it's S-I-T-E colon the domain you're trying to search that you want to find content on and then your keyword phrase BuzzFeed, uh, Mashable, some of these other websites that are big large conglomerates of content. You could really use them to find those really cool hidden uh, 
you know, gems of content that you can share on the social networks or that you can also glean information from to use um, in your own way and also like repost the content. This is perfect for doing curated blog posts where you find uh, maybe five or six different really interesting facts or different posts and you post them into one uh, web post, one blog post, and it's all right there. So site search is so powerful. Um, make sure you use it to your advantage. This is a couple great ideas to use it and benefit greatly from it.